I think so. Let me try that out. Let me try that out. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got a different one. I'm going to make sure, you know, we're getting it right. We got the right cameras in place. We good? We good? There we go. We good. I love it. My team, that's one thing they're going to do. They're going to work. That's why I love my team. Are we good? All right, y'all, so Lee, we about to go on to YouTube. We on the Wall Street looks, I mean, the Wall Street Trapper YouTube. We about to show you all how to construct a portfolio, you know, $1,000, right? We're going to show y'all how to put it together. We're going to show y'all how to uh, implement it. We're going to give y'all three different variations. We're going to explain to you why. I mean, we're going to give you four different variations. We're going to explain to you why we got these four different variations so it can fit for anybody, right? Because no one investor... Is like nobody else. And what I don't want you all doing is, you know, following what everybody else is doing. I want you to find your own investor identity. So that's why I'm giving you more than one option. So I appreciate y'all for coming over. Y'all, come over. We're on a Wall Street trap of YouTube. Come over. We're going to show y'all how to build a portfolio with $1,000. Let's go. I'll see y'all over there. All right, y'all. So listen, thank everybody for coming. Um, thank everybody for coming today. We appreciate y'all for being with us, for rocking with us in the trap. We coming to you live inside the studio. And the goal for right now is to teach you all how to build out a thousand dollar portfolio. Now, we're going to give you multiple different ways. But before you go any further, make sure you like this. Make sure you subscribe. And while you're here, go check out some of the other videos after this. This is live. This is not a pre-record. This is live. This is real deal. All right. So the first thing we're going to look at is, wait, let me take this off green, red. Let's go to green because we're talking money. Let's go with green because we're talking money. One, wait, I always do this, y'all. There we go. Let's go green because we're talking money. Right? We're talking money. So we're going to go. You got me in the chat? Good job. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. So we're talking $1,000 right here. How do we build out a $1,000 portfolio? This is key right here. Right. So I'm going to be real. The first thing I need you to do, and I got to give credit to Dave Ramsey, because once I read this stat after I heard him say what he said, because you know me, I ain't going to lie. I was like, man, anybody got no time. He's saving no money and all that. But once I saw this stat came out, uh, a couple weeks ago that said the average American doesn't have $1,000 saved. We can't even much, I'm going to be real with y'all, we can't even much invest nothing if we if all we got is a hot 500. If we got a hot 500 put up, I don't want us investing. So first thing I need us to do, like, now we building this out. This is a part of your financial uh, structure, right? We're giving you a financial framework right here. We're giving you a financial Framework. I want, I want, I want y'all to really put that back in your head. Like, this is my financial framework, right? Starting with a thousand dollars, right? Somebody said the volume is low. Is that true? I don't think that's on us, though, right? That maybe them could turn it up a little bit, right? Right. All right. So this is your financial framework, right? So a thousand dollar portfolio. The first thing in your thousand dollar portfolio, your financial framework is. I need you to have $1,000 to $1,500 saved. Now, here's what I want you to do. You're like, trap, I want to start investing now. I need to get into the game now. I need to be investing now. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to act like your life depended on it because it does. And I need you to save a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars within the next thirty days. I, I don't even need you to think about the investing game yet. I need you to put everything into this right here. I'm keeping it real with you. I'm keeping it real with you. Like I'm not gonna lie. When I that the, the stat kind of it set me back a little bit because I was so focused on. I was so focused on 
getting you in the game, getting you investing. I was so focused on getting you in the game, getting you in investing, and I was, and because I thought about it from my, my own perspective, I'm gonna keep it real. And my own perspective was this. I was cool with living on a, sleeping on an air mattress and putting all my money in the market. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I was cool with that. I was cool with not going out, doing something, putting all my money in the market, but I had to realize once I saw that stat that the average American doesn't have $1,000 invested for a save for emergency, I had to say, trap, hold up, trap. Everybody not like you. And that ain't no good or bad. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing. I was like, trap, everybody not like you, bro. Like, everybody ain't really on the, bro, I'm going to sleep on the air mattress. I don't care. Right? So I had to say, all right, well, if the, if the average person don't have $1,000 put up for an emergency, then how the hell, did, if, if they, they, that, that, and that made me realize something. That's why they are so emotionally jammed up with the stock market. Because you don't have no room for error in your financial life. That's why you so emotional when it comes to investing because you don't got no room for error in, your, in what you got going on financially. Right? And not everybody not like that. That's cool. But if you don't got no room for error in your financial life, you have, that's why you need every dollar to work for you. You need every dot, like you can't make no mistakes. Right? You don't have time. That, that minor setback is going to set you way back. That minor setback going to set you way back. So I need you to work like, a, like your life depended on it because it does on putting up 1500 to to 1000 Now, I ain't tripping. Any, you don't even got to do what trap do with putting it in the VOO and you don't got to just take $1,000. Like, I start to realize what I think is normal is really advanced for a lot of people. And this ain't nothing wrong. It's just that we all are different. And because we all are different, it made me as a teacher realize, wait, Trap, we got to go back. Stop, stop thinking that everybody is you. They not. You got to help. You got to help from the bottom. You got to work our way up. So I'm like, all right, cool. So the first thing we need you to do is do this. I need you to do this like your life depended on it. Right? Now, I'm not going to get into other stuff, but I do know, like, this is important. I need you to have that. I need you to have that thousand to fifteen hundred, and here's why: because the average person, a thousand dollar expense can happen in life. What I don't want, and the reason why I'm saying fifteen hundred, is because even if you get the thousand dollar emergency, you still got five hundred dollars put up. You're like, all right, that emergency ain't really knocked me all the way off. That's how I think. Like, I don't want to live. I want. I don't want us living so close to the edge to where if we if we make that fall, we done. So what I want you to do is, I want you here. I want this to be the goal. Now, I don't mind you learning. I don't mind you studying. I don't mind you reading. But I don't want you to put a dollar in the stock market until you do this. I'm keeping it real with you. I don't want you to put a dollar in the stock market until you do this. And the reason why I'm hammering on this so much is because let's say all you got is $1,000. Let's say you got a hot $1,000. Let's say you like, Chuck, I got a hot $1,000. Where do I put it at? It's all I got to my name. I'm like, all right. Let's say you put it in Apple. If Apple go down $5, guess what you're going to do? You're going to sell it. You know why you're going to sell it? Because now your $1,000 is at $998. If it's down $2, or oh, it's down $995, now you got $995. You're going to sell it. You know why? Because you couldn't afford to lose the $5. And now your mind going to say, uh-uh, this, it might go down to 9 It might go down to... You're going to start putting scenarios in your head. All right, what about a company like Apple that's down right now 12% on a year? Right? But because you couldn't afford to lose nothing from that 1000 because that was your last thousand, Apple down to, all right, let's say you invested in Tesla. It's 160 some dollars right now. It's down 32% on the, and 
it's down 32% this year. So you had your last thousand, you got a hot thousand, it's down 32%. You like, man. Man, I ain't messing with that stock market no more because emotionally and psych psychologically, you in a different place. You can't cop more because all you got is a hot thousand. You put your hot thousand in there. All right, so let's go a little further. Right, so this is the first thing we're doing. I had to hammer on that because this is something I'm going to really be on moving forward. All right, so let's go. I ain't going to stay on that too long. All right, let's go. So how do we trap? How do I put $1,000 in the market? I'm going to use the word deploy. How do we deploy $1,000 in the market? So first thing we want to do is we don't, me personally, I don't want it all in one, I don't want it all in one stop. Why did I write that like I ain't got nowhere to write? Right, I don't want it all in one, I don't want it all in one stock. Right, I don't want that. I want you to have a little diversity. And the reason why is because this, remember, we don't need a lot of stocks to build a great portfolio. A good 10 to 12 stocks can build an amazing portfolio for us. And if you want more, you create another portfolio. So I don't want it all in one stock because we got a thousand we're going to build. So the first thing was what? $1,000 to $1,500 saved. The next thing I want you to do is, watch this. If you got a job or a business, watch this. Automatic withdrawal or investing. So here's what I want you to do. Because now that you got a 1,000 set in the market, we need to make sure that every week or every other week you either put in 25, 50, I want you to use at least 10%. If you're a big dog, I want you to go 20 to 25% of that paycheck. Or if you got a business, do that too. Right? So now, because I want you to make it automatic that it's going to your account. Because I don't want you to have the thousand and leave it. I want you to take the thousand that you got invested and I want you to fuel that account. I want you to fuel it. I want you to. Every week, 25, 50. I don't care what nobody talking about. That ain't enough. That ain't no. We starting with a thousand. We just starting here. We ain't gonna finish here. So every week, I need you every week, 10 to 15 percent of what that check is. If you a big dog, 25 percent, because this gonna change our life. This gonna change our life. So it's either 20, 10 percent. I ain't mad at it because you putting it in there. But if you going 25. <sighs> yes, this is live, Diamond Dan Dancing Diamonds. Right, so the next thing, now we're going to get into that. All right, so the first one I came up with is we're going to go, because we understand that the chip sector is the future. The chip sector is the future. So the current stock price of SMH, Right, because I'm doing this based on current stock prices, y'all. Right, I'm doing this based on current stock prices. I wrote this down. All right, watch this. I'm going to help y'all get this together. Mm, 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 mm. So the current stock price, my first pick would be is 222. Right? My first pick would be SMH, three. We got a $1,000 portfolio. My first pick would be SMH, right? Because this is the future, we want to grow the portfolio. We want to grow the portfolio. So my first pick would be SMH. I will go with three SMHs. Why? Because now, in most cases, we probably can't get the NVIDIAs and the Broadcoms, but we can get in the SMH, and we can get that 
run with everybody else. We can, we can bet on the future by betting in the future instead of just one. Yeah, you're not going to get the NVIDIA run up. Yeah, you're not going to get the Broadcom run up. But if we look at it, if we look at it, SMH is still up. Watch this. 28%. So you're, you're, we good here. And with $1,000, with this part of the portfolio, we're going to get three of them. We're going to get three of them. Right? So with the SMA, look what we're getting. Right? With the SMA, we're getting top 10 holders. What we getting? we getting NVIDIA. We're getting Broadcom. We're getting Micro, Micron. We're getting LAM Research. We're getting Applied Materials. We're getting Taiwan Semiconductor. We're getting ASML. We're getting Qualcomm. We're getting Texas Instrument. We get AMD. We get the Big Ten. We get the Big Ten. Well, the reason why SQX is not a cheaper version because it's a, it's a leveraged ETF, which means it's more riskier. You're not supposed to hold those that long. Make sure you understand that. You're not supposed to hold those that long, right? Because they got options and futures contracts tied into them. That's why I don't, that, those are short-term investments. Those are not supposed to be held for the long term. You feel me? They're not supposed to be held for the long term. But if we get here, this is our top 10 holdings. So because this is our top 10 holdings, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Now watch this. For my next act, we're going to go watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Y'all going to love this. Y'all going to love this. Y'all going to love this. Watch this. We're going to go. We're going to go NVO. And we can get two of them. And the reason why we go NVO, because we up 23% year to date. And these are right now at 125. You feel me? So now we done went, look, we done went, watch this. Five times two, boom, we at, watch this, 50, right? Watch this. We had $916. We just built out our first portfolio. We just built out our first portfolio. We ain't tripping. Look, we got three, three SMHs, and we got two NVOs. Why we like this? Because we understand that the nature of the healthcare people want to lose weight. But they also in the they also in the insulin business as well. Right, so they in the insulin business and they in the weight loss business, and that business, the weight loss business, got so far to go. They're saying that's a almost a trillion dollar business. Now all we gotta do is watch this every week when we invest in that. We got our, we got our twenty percent, and we got our twenty percent, our ten percent. All we doing now every week is we letting that money come into the account. We let that money come into the account. And now what we're going to have to do is we find an opportunity because this is an ETF. Now, let me tell you why we chose the ETF and the individual stock. Watch this. Let me show you why. This was the cheat code. The reason why we chose the ETF and the individual stock, because y'all know that I'm not a firm believer of dollar cost averaging inside of a regular stock, right? Because you're going to ultimately be buying that stock too high. But I am a firm believer in you doing it with an ETF every time the ETF fall back on a dip. Why? Because you can't put a fair, you can't put an actual price on that ETF because it's so many different stocks inside of it. So now what I want you to do is now if you buying this when it dip, when you get your money, you, you put in here. And so now you say, all right, once I get 10 shares of this, once I get 10 shares of SMH, now I'm going to just save up to buy my NVO to get my next share. 
Or you can say to yourself, every time I get 500 inside of my account, I'm going to go spend. I'm going to go either buy one of these or one of them. Either way, you won't do it. Right? You can say, every time I get $500 in my account, I'm going to go buy either two SMHs or whatever it is, I'm going to buy them. Every time I get $500, I'm going to go buy one. You building it out slowly. You ain't in no rush. You ain't in no rush. The problem is we be in a rush. Oh, I got to. I'm looking at this person. I'm looking at that. You not in no rush. The wealth game is an individual game. It's an individual game. So I got, look, I got my SMH. What do I got here? I got my, my chips. I know this the future. I know this with everything being built on. And I got my pharmacy. I got my health care. I got my insulin and my weight loss. The top two drugs on the market is made by them and Eli Lilly. We here. The only reason I ain't go with Eli because it's 700 and I want to give you a little more bang for your buck. You still can get the same type of return at a cheaper price. I could have said one Eli Lilly and another one, but I'm like, no, let me get them more bang for their buck. We could have went one Eli Lilly, one SMH, but now you got more bang for your buck because you got three SMHs and three Novo Nordics. This is about constructing the portfolio in a way that's going to benefit you. How we feeling, B? How we feeling, Sean? We talking to him? We talking to him? Right? And so now we're doing this. You say, all right, I got my 1,000. I got my 1,000 to 1,500 saved. Remember, we're not doing nothing unless we get that. We're not doing nothing unless we get this. Because if we get this, emotionally, we're going to feel different about the money here. Emotionally, we're going to feel different about this money if we got the 1,000 to the 1,500 put up. We're going to feel different about it. But if all of we got is this and we're trying to put it here, emotionally, we're not going to let this do what it's supposed to do. We're not going to let this run its course because if this 1,000 go to 997, you be, ah, I got to move it. If the 1,000 go to 950, oh, man, I got to move it. You're not going to feel the same. It's going to make you feel a little different. So we good here. Let me see in the chat. Let me see in the chat. We got, we got, we got a couple more. I done built this thing out for y'all. I done built this thing out for y'all. Let me know how we feeling in the chat, man. Let me know if y'all really, if y'all getting something from this, right? Let me know if y'all really getting something from this right here. Let me know if y'all really getting something from this right here. You feel me? Let me know if you getting something from this. Let me know if you like this. If you want us to go live a little bit more on this channel, let me know, man. If y'all is doing stuff like this, like doing build outs, you know what I'm saying? Doing build outs, doing build outs. Doing bill dollars. What can you give for $15? I don't know. You need, if you want to come invest your money, you need to have a little bit more. You need to put some more money. That's why you need to get here. You need to come here. Stock is $15 for a reason. All right, let's go a little further. All right? All right, that's number one. That's number one. That's one scenario for us. All right? That's one scenario for us. All right? That's one scenario. How y'all like that first scenario? Was that a good scenario for us? Did we, we felt that? That was pretty good? All right, they're saying go live more, please, B. We got to go live more, bro. At least once a week on here, dog. We got to go live more. All right. I brought out another one for us. Why is this one? Why is this one? Let me get my phone out so I can make sure we good on it. Let me get my phone out so I can make sure we good on it. All right, watch this now. All right. Now I bought this one. Why is this one? Watch this one. We gonna go. We gonna go meta. We gonna get one share of meta. And here's why I'm gonna go one share of meta. At the current price, meta is five hundred dollars. Now I know you like trap. Hold up, bro. Uh-uh, it's 525. Right? Meta is 525. We're gonna go one. But trap, why would you make me go one meta? Why would you make me go one meta? 
Well, the reason why I want you to go one meta, now I got some more I'm going to add to this. So year-to-date meta is up 49%. Last year, meta returned 145%. Now, here's why that's dope to me. It showed you a company that even after Apple punched him in his face, it took Apple's best punch and it came back strong. Not only did it came back strong, it rebranded itself in a way that positioned it for the future. It changed the name Meta, it came out with another product, got improved on it with Oculus, came out with Reels, came out with selling you the blue stars, still didn't take on no debt, and then now they add an AI to what they're doing. They're buying more artificial, they're buying more AI than any other of the big seven brands. They already done spot, I think, 3,000 to 6,000 AI chips from NVIDIA. They're one of the biggest buyers. So I want you to buy this because this going to grow. It's the biggest social media platform in the game. Also, we don't know what's going to happen with TikTok, but what we do know is this. America going to make them do something. We don't know exactly what's going to happen with them, but we know America going to make them do something that's going to affect what they're doing. We don't know what's going to happen. We might don't get shot down. I mean, might don't get shut down. But we know America going to bully them into doing something in America to alter the playing field. And who benefit from that more than anybody? Also, yes, Google is the biggest digital advertiser, 100%. But this is the biggest social media platform. So watch this. In a recession, do you think Meta is going to be affected in a recession? Nope. If anything, what they going to do? They going to make more money. You know why? Because the big company is going to say one thing. Oh, they all sitting at home. We're going to have to spend more money on putting ads in front of their face. Why? Because they at home. They at home. What they doing at home? On Instagram. On Facebook. On what? On something. On threads. Making reels. More money gonna be spent, so they're gonna advertise to you more. So that's gonna mean this stock gonna run up more. Guess what happens if we don't go in a recession? People got more disposable income. What do companies do? Advertise more. They are the primary benefactor of that. No matter what. All right, so next I'm gonna go with this one. Now this one I ain't this one going to be a tough one for you. I wrote this one down, but I want you to feel me on it. I want you to feel me on it. All right. All right. Now, watch this. I, I, watch this. All right, the next one is C-E-L-H. C-E-L-H. Watch this. Over the last 10 years, over the last five years, no stock has a better return than this company. Y'all know I talked about it last year, the year before that a little bit. This company, C-E-L-H, is the energy drink. They have such a huge upside. I want you to get five of them. So one meta, five of these, at $83 a pop right now, that gives you $940. You still got $60 on the sideline. We still under our $1,000. We still under our $1,000. We still under our $1,000. So we got one meta that's giving us parabolic moves. And as of right now, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Look, watch this. Meta up right now 49%, and guess how much this one up this year? 54%. Meta up 49%, this one up 
We ain't just talking about building a portfolio. I'm talking about putting a powerful portfolio together. I ain't just talking about, oh, buy this and buy that. I'm talking about constructing a powerful portfolio. How to build a powerful portfolio. We're going with one meta. We're going with five uh, CELHs that put us under $60. We still got $60 left in our market. So guess what we're going to do now? We're going to go back to our 20, our 10%, our 20%, our 30%. Every time we get paid or every time our business drops some bread in us, guess what we're going to do? We're going to flood our account. We're going to flood our account. We're going to flood our account. And then now we got to set price points on it. At what price do we buy them? At what price do we buy them? Right? Well, because we're trying to optimize our bread, well, Trap, I might can't get it at a deep, deep discount because they run the way they do. But guess what? Let's get a 3% dip on it. Let's get a 3% dip. Let's get a 5% dip on it. Let's set our price point so now we can bang this out. We talking about building a pot. I ain't just saying like the other people say on the, well, you buy the index funds and you, you, you buy the index funds and you, you buy the dividend stocks. Yeah, shut up. We building powerful portfolios that generate profit over here. We don't care what they're talking about. All right? So the first one, we went with Novo Nordisk, and we went with SMH. Powerful. This one, we went with Meta and CELH. Powerful. Let's go, y'all. Let me know how y'all like this in the chat. Let me know how y'all like this in the chat. Let me know if we trap in the chat. Let me know if we trapping in the chat. Let me know if we trapping in the chat. Let me know if we trapping in the chat. What this R R K? What the hell that was? Oh, I know what this is. All right, so I got another one for you. Now I build this one out for you. We need to get 1,500 people in here. 1,500 people in the chat, we're saving lives? We get 1,500 people in here, we're saving the lives, man. We get 1,500 people in here, we keeping the lives up. We need 1,500 people in here. We need 15, because ain't nobody giving us game like this, man. Ain't nobody giving us game like this, man. That's what we doing, my team in here. Y'all see how this look? We like, yo, it's Friday, man. Let's give it to them. Every week, we're going to keep on. You know, if y'all keep showing us love like this, for, shout out to the 400 people. that And we just randomly did this. Like, we ain't putting no notification out. We ain't sent no email out. We said, yo, we just about to go live and start talking to the people. We won't double down on what we're giving y'all. You feel me? We won't double down on what we're giving y'all. We need 600, at least 600 likes up there, B. We need 600 likes, man. All right, so let's go. This one here going to be, this one here going to be one of them. Y'all going to look at me on this one and go, hmm. Hmm. Y'all going to look at this one when I drop it and say, that's interesting, trap. Yes, Root has been going crazy, but I don't like, I don't like what that look like. It don't, I don't like what it represents. So watch this. Watch this one. We're going to go with this. I'm about to put this up for y'all. And the only reason I'm using it on my phone right here is so I can get accurate prices when I put it up there. So we're going to go with this one on y'all. We're going to go AMZN. We're going to go AMZN. Hold on. All right, we're gonna go AMZ in. We're gonna go three. All right, we're gonna go AZM. Ooh, hey, they gone. Hey, y'all gone. We got 600 likes up there, B. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's our people, man. 
Our people need this, B. Our people love this. They love this. Watch this, though, y'all. We're going to go AZM in. All right? It's currently, let's get the stock price on it. Let's get the stock price on it. So we can make sure we're giving y'all. We can make sure we're giving y'all the right things. All right? So it's, uh, we're getting three of them at 184. All right, so let's let's write that down. Let's write that down. Let's write that down. All right, now trap. Why did we go three Amazon? Why did we go three Amazon trap? Well, let's think about it. This company is a disruptor, no matter what industry it goes in. It started off selling books. Now they sell everything. That's why the sign, if you look at it, it says Amazon, and they got an arrow that says from A to Z. That means we sell everything from A to Z. Go look at the Amazon logo. It's the arrow from the A to the Z. The arrow goes like this. And it's a smile. We selling you everything from A to Z. Right? Everything. But not only that, let's talk about growth. Let's talk about growth. How many shares? You see the number right here? It says three. That's why we got all that on the board. We got price, ticker, how many? You feel me? It don't matter what industry that this company get in, it's going to put pressure on who's ever there. You know why? Because they got so much money. They already got a built-in network of people. They put pressure on the streaming people without even being a streamer. They got pressure on everybody but Netflix, but Netflix. Listen, I was watching, I was watching, I was watching Walking Dead on Amazon at first. They were charging me for every episode. My people said, bro, just go to Netflix and watch. I went to Netflix, it was free. I said, damn. I done watched three whole seasons on, <laughs> on Amazon, paying $2.99 an episode, 13 episodes. They knocking me silly. I'm like, but I ain't tripping because I'm in it. Went on Netflix, it was free. I said, boy, that's cold-blooded. Look at these people. I said, look at these people. They hit me for the $2.99, $2.99, $2.99. I'm like, damn, what the money? What is going on for? My people are like, bro, just go to Netflix. It's free. I say, man, you saved me because I sure was about to, I'm about to run through 11 seasons for two ninety nine. dollars <laughs> Right? So we're going to go Amazon. So this is the third portfolio. It's the third portfolio. We're building out. We go Amazon, 184. We're going to get three of them. Again, why? Why? Because one, people will keep paying for Prime. People will keep paying for Prime because we're, we've gotten to the point where we want next day delivery. We want same day delivery. It's a part of who we are now as a nation of people. We want same day, we want next day delivery. Let's go a little further though. Next. Let's go a little further. Next, Amazon is now, they was the first company to already have robots in their warehouses. Now, along with Apple, they're working on in-home robots. But let's go a little further than that. They also entered the pharmaceutical business when they bought Pill Pack. And then they bought uh, One Medical. And we didn't realize they got Whole Foods. So what they're going to do is, now they're going to put pressure on Walgreens and CVS. You know why? Because now, because they bought one medical, they also can now have a storefront. And now he got the storefront. Now you can go in there and pick up prescriptions. He about to put, he about to put pressure on Walmart. I'm already beefing with you, Walmart, when it comes to retailing. But now... 
You're about to come in here and be able to do what? Let me get my pills. Let me get my prescriptions. That's the goal. That's the goal. Watch this. They've already started working on same-day delivery for pharmaceuticals in New York and California. Oh, man, imagine that. Thank you for the super chat, family. Thank you for the super chat. You feel me? They already working on that. They already working on New York and LA same day delivery on pharmaceuticals. What you think that's about to be now? Coming to a city near you. We dropping a dope off at your front door. Check please. <laughs> we dropping a dope off at your front door. Check please. Who gonna make more money than them? Who gonna make more money than them? They gonna put somebody out of business. They gonna put somebody out of business. Gonna put somebody out of business. All right, so we go with our Amazon at three, three, at three shares. Now watch this now. We gonna go one share, y'all. Watch me here. Watch me here. And I want y'all to pay attention to how we constructing this portfolio. I want y'all to pay attention to how we are constructing this portfolio. Watch this. We're going to go one share. B R K B 1. We still under our thousand dollars. We still under our thousand dollars. We bought Berkshire Hathaway. Trap, why do we buy Berkshire Hathaway? Watch this. Up 17% year to date. Last year it returned 35%. And watch this. Amazon year to date up 22%. We killing the market right now, and we still ain't spent our whole thousand dollars yet. Now, here's what I want you to understand about this trap. Why did we buy Berkshire Hathaway? Well, Berkshire is a company that, you, if you notice, everything we bought is opposite of each other. So we diversify, but we are diversified with powerhouses. We ain't just diversify. Oh, we just gonna buy some dividend stocks. Oh, we just gonna buy some index funds. Hell no. We won't get to the bag. Powerful portfolios. So here's what we're doing. We bought Berkshire because what? They got train stations, they got public companies, they got private companies, they got insurance companies. Geico is a beast of a company, right? Berkshire Hathaway is a company that performs no matter what. They don't pay dividends. They reinvest everything. They're sitting on $161 billion in cash. They got more cash than Apple, Amazon, and Google. On it. They got that. They got that. They got that. So we got a company that can perform well and a company that's cash heavy and a company that's performing and is not affected when the tech stocks and stuff go down. Let's get our likes up, y'all. Let's get our likes up, y'all. If y'all like the game we're giving, let's get to 850 likes, y'all. We're going to start coming back more. Let us know. We got 1.2. We got what? Almost 1,200 people watching? 1,245. Let's get this up to 1,400, 1,500 people, y'all. Right? Let's get 800 likes up there, y'all. Easy. Let's get 800 likes up that easy. If y'all really want me to, y'all want us to do more of this, Super Chat, thank you, man. Soaking up this free Bible study up with, man, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, man. We ain't even asked for the Super Chats, bro, so we thank y'all for them Super Chats, man. You know, we just want to give game. We want to help y'all learn how to play this game. And so we're going to start doing this a little more, man. Right, so now we got $1,000. Now check this out. We got three here. We got three Amazon, so that give us massive growth. We know they're growing. We know they're growing. So we're going to take this. We're going to take the Amazon. We're going to take the growth. We're going to get into the technology. They also adding what? AI to what they're doing. They're also going to step further adding what? 
robotics. We just saw NVIDIA do a whole presentation show with robots. They let, the dude got on stage and had 12 robots on side of him. This is the world. But guess who already been doing robots? They even had robots in the in the centers in the in, in the in the 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 centers for three years now. Guess what they said they're gonna do? Get more. And not only are they going from the 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 centers, they're gonna put them in your house, like because Apple trying to do it too. So here's where we going. This is what we doing. You feel me? And so now we go Berkshire because Berkshire gives balance. Berkshire give us balance. Berkshire gives us balance. Berkshire gives us stability. When they have a big sell-off in the got dog on technology sector, guess what Berkshire still gonna be doing? Chugging along. Chugging along, because they're not affected by what's going on in technology. Man, I appreciate the super chat, man. Andre Hatch, man, I feel like I know you, man. I know that name before, man. Seen, heard that name before. All right? So let's look at it, man. We got Amazon. We got Berkshire. That's it. And so we're going to follow our same rule. What's our rule? We doing 20 Either we're doing 10%, we're doing 20%, we're doing 30%. 30% you a big dog. What does that mean? That means when we're getting paid or we got our business, what are we doing? We're putting our money, and now we're saying, all right, well, Amazon, what am I doing? Every time I get $500 saved, what am I doing? Am I buying one or two Amazons? Or am I waiting? Am I buying a Berkshire shell? What am I doing? What am I doing? Thank y'all for the super chats, man. I promise I love y'all, bro. We love y'all for that, man. Let's get a thousand likes then, B. Let's give us a thousand likes then. Can we get a thousand likes? Can we get a thousand likes? <laughs> man, we love it here. We love it here. We love it here. So that's how we going, y'all. And that's our three, that's three portfolios we can go with. All right, so I got one more. I got one more. Now this one. It's a, uh, it's a sleeper, right? We're going we gonna, to we gonna push the edge with this one a little bit. But I ain't mad at it. We're going to push the edge with this one a little bit. We're going we gonna, to, ah, ah, ah. Cordy, what's up, my love? The family, you did. Right? Can't we split them up and, because I'm looking at you like this. Can't we split them up and do partial sales, bro? No. No. Listen to me. We ain't doing no fractional shares over here. We not doing no fractional shares over here. Let me show you why we not doing fractional shares over here. Let me stop for a minute. I like that question, brother. And then I'm going to get y'all to my last one. I told y'all I had four for y'all. B, I told him we had four for him, B. How long we been on the live, B? 50? That been an hour? Yeah. Oh, man, I got to go, man. Uh, we'll yeah, we got to go. God damn. Well, we going to say the next one for next week, man. We going to say the next one for next week. God damn, E. All right, so here's why we not doing fractional shares. Here's why we not doing fractional shares. So here's a company. All right, let me say this right quick. Let's do a recap right quick before we do that. Let's do a quick recap. Here's a quick recap for everybody that didn't know. Our first one was SMH and Novo Nordisk. That was our first portfolio. Our second portfolio was Meta and Celsius. And our third one was Amazon and Burke. Right? That was it. And all of them was under $1,000. All 
All of them was under $1,000. The main goal out the gate was to do what? We not doing none of that unless we have $1,000 to $1,500 saved. And I know I was a fan of not saving money and all that, but the reason why we said that is because emotionally, you are, your emotions is different if you're living your life on the edge. Now, I had to give credit to Dave Ramsey because he had been preached and saved $1,000. And the reason, um, let me see, can you respect this? I came late. <laughs> Khadijah, that's my love right there. I just popped up, my love. I just popped up and did it, you hear me? Let's get 1,000 likes, y'all. Let's get 1,000 likes before we go. And so the reason why this was important to me, again, I got to give it, you know, Dave Ramsey. I was like, man, I ain't listening to no Dave Ramsey say, but when I heard this stat that said the average person, and I just heard this stat, don't have $1,000 saved, it, it's a light bulb went off in my head. And I said, this is the reason why most people can't play this game. They can't let their investments grow because they don't got $1,000 saved. So because you don't got $1,000 to $1,500 saved, it's hard for you to invest money that you need to put food on your table. It's hard for you to invest and walk in that investment if the money you invest in is the same money you need to put food on the table. So now if you got a, if all you got is a hot thousand dollars to your name or a hot, you know, 1500 to your name, you trying to invest that to come on a quick come up. So as soon as you lose 10, 15 dollars of that, $20 of that, you're ready to sell it. You know why? Because you couldn't afford for that to do nothing. So now you killing the investment prematurely. You killing the investment prematurely. So don't even think about investing with the $1,000. I need you to bust your butt at getting the $1,000 to the $1,500 saved. I ain't saying go put $5,000 up. I ain't saying go put $10,000 up. I'm saying if we go save $1,000 to 1500 I'm not even saying do a trap doing use the VOO as a savings account. All of that's advanced level stuff. I don't want you there yet. We got to start where we at, right? And if, if this not you, cool. But remember, my goal at this point, I ain't going to lie, I had to back up and say, man, you know what? Let me build everybody up. Thousand, mm, thousand likes in here. Right? I had to start back up and say, no, Trap, everybody not like you, bro. Everybody ain't cool with just being on the air mattress, thugging it out, putting work clothes on, coming home from work, getting back on it. Everybody ain't like that, bro. So I need you to bust your butt like crazy to get this. To get this. Don't even come here. This ain't no, mm -mm. <laughs> this don't even matter until you get here. Till you get, once you get this, and here's why. Because now, once you get the 1,000 to 1,500 put up, you like, all right, I got 1,000, I got 1,500 put up. Now, I'm not so emotionally attached to my investments. Because my investments is about to grow my wealth the investment is not about to put the food on my table. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. The investment is not about to put food on the table. The investment is going to grow my wealth. See, you're trying to invest with the money that's going to put food on your table. And so now when that food on your table money decrease, you ready, uh-uh, uh-uh, let me get that. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, so once we get here, now we here, man. Now we here. All right? And now what we're doing is every time we're getting paid, the next thing we do after we put this and we put the $1,000 in the account, we're going to automate. We're going to automate our investing. How are we going to do that, Trap? Every week we get paid or every other week we get paid, we're going to either do 10%. That's just so we active. 20% if we really going to go strong, 30% if we really want to see a change. If we really want to see the change. I got seven say kitten in the bank. I got seven K sitting in the bank account trap. You ready to invest? You ready to invest? If you got seven K put up, I ain't going to lie. Either you can take two from the seven, leave five put up, 
and run that play or take a thousand or start investing from what from zero and keep the seven K put up. You know your life expenses. I don't. But we do know is if you got seven K put up and this ain't no hit to nobody, you are doing better than the average American person because the average American person don't have a thousand dollars for emergency. You got seven K. So what I would do if I was you, I'm like, all right, I know my life. I can either take thirty five hundred. I can take two, but I wouldn't take five. I can take 3,500 and start investing, or I can take two and start investing. Either or, but I wouldn't take five. Or I say, you know what, let me keep the 7K, and now let me just double down aggressively on what I'm doing. Let me pay off a little debt, and let me get into this investment game heavy. You know your personal situation, not me. You feel me? You know that, not me. And so let's start making better investment in finance. We adult finance. Y'all know I said it on Trap and Tuesday. It's adult financing right here. You feel me? So now we're going to, every week now, we're going to make the decision. We're going to go 10% just to say, you know, I'm doing a little something. I'm, I'm putting 10% of my check in there. That's, that's cool. Or we going, this when you up the ante, when you start doing this, I'm going 20%. I'm going 20%. But if you really going to really aggressively hit it, 30 or more. 30 or more of that check every week, every time you get, I'm going, it's it. Third, I'm, I'm, I'm it. Right? So let me do this one last thing before we go, because we've been on here for an hour. I don't want to turn this into no trap and tools. Then. I got two minutes. <laughs> B said I got two minutes. All right. So watch this, y'all. This right here is you investing. These are shares. This is the company, right? I'm gonna go a bit a little further. Save to invest to get you a share. When you get a fraction of share, fractionals, now you're doing this. You know how many fractions you got to get to get a whole share? You got to get too many fractions to get a whole share. I don't want you, I'm going to be real, I don't care what nobody say, I don't want you doing fractional shares. I want you to save, because now, watch this, if you're doing fractional shares, now you're getting a fraction of a dividend. The dividend ain't nothing already, but Five dollars. Now you're getting a fraction of you getting 50 cents. I don't want you doing that. I don't want you doing that. I want you to save to invest. If you don't got enough for the Amazon stock right now, cool. Guess what? That's why we're doing 10, 20, 30. We saving. Okay, boom. Let me give me a share now. I'm gonna be real with you. If you just starting off, I'm not even worrying about you going to the discount cash flow formulas that I do. I don't mind you saying, you know what, let me buy the dip right now. Even though, let me, let me set it, it's, it's down $5, it's down $10 from what it was, let me do that right now. I don't mind you doing that. This is me saying, trap, let's work with people where they at and let's build them up. Let's start them in first grade before we talk, start talking to them about discounted cash flow and buying at a dip. And let, me, let, let, let me get you in the game so you can get confidence. But I promise you, that whole share going to look way better in your portfolio than that fraction of a share. That was just a game they invented to get you playing the game and they can do something off you. They said, they said 50 cent of your money is better than the dollar if you ain't got 50 cent yet or something like that. All right, man. Listen, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this, man. I got to go. That's my time for the day. I definitely hope y'all loved us trapping on a Friday. You know what I'm saying? Bank, my bank account is VOO. You got that from me, man. You know I'm the first one started that. Y'all know I'm the first one started that. You hear I me? Mean? But it's love. All right, man. I'm about to go. I'm about to head out, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank everybody for the super chats. That was amazing because we just came to pour our heart out and help y'all build out a $1,000 um, portfolio. Do me a favor, man. Like this. Share this. Spread this with as many as people as you can. Um, how many people we had tapped in, B? 1441. We had 1,441. We, we, we was close. We was close. If I would have stayed another 30 minutes, we would have got it, but we got to go.
We got to go. So I ain't mad. B, we're going to upload it for him to rewatch it, bro. We're going to upload it. B say we going to, he good with that. All right, man, before we go, though, man, make sure y'all like this channel, subscribe to this channel. We want to grow this channel to a million dollars. We want, I mean, a million views, a million subscribers. We had 363,000. We want this to be the number one channel you go to when it comes to learning about the stock market. Also, if you haven't checked out the Wall Street Looks Like Us Now Network, check that channel out as well. Trapping Tuesdays each and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. We are putting a lot of fresh content on this page, not just the reclip. We putting fresh. If you go, if you here right now, go look at the last 14 videos we put up. Yep, from the beginner series, the art of stock picking. We got that up there. We got. Three, we got uh, like 14 of the last videos we put up are brand new. So check those out. And every Monday we do do a Mindset Monday because we know mindset is important, man. But other than that, man, I love y'all. Thank you for the Super Chat Queen. Uh, we appreciate your financial freedom ministry. I like that, the financial freedom ministry. April Davis, thank you so much. Um, shout out to my team, B. Shout out to Ashan. Thank y'all so much, bro. We want to tell y'all we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. We out. Salute.